The Israeli military struck targets in both Gaza and Lebanon Thursday. That includes multiple airstrikes in central Beirut. Lebanese health officials say at least 22 people were killed and more than 100 wounded. Meanwhile, hundreds marched in Tel Aviv Thursday calling for the Israeli government to strike a hostage deal. CBS News foreign correspondent Deborah Pata is following the very latest from Beirut. Good evening. Tonight in central Beirut, two strikes as Israel fights a war on two fronts, Hamas in Gaza and the Iranian-backed Hezbollah in Lebanon. Israel and Hezbollah have been trading fire for over a year now, but in the last month, Israel widened its offensive along the border to suburbs in Beirut and the Bekaa Valley. In Gaza, over 60 people were killed in Israeli strikes today, once again filling hospitals with the bloodied and wounded. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has threatened this kind of devastation and suffering in Lebanon if it doesn't stand up to Hezbollah militants. We visited the village of Khodo, where there have been over 30 Israeli airstrikes in the past month. Local villagers told us they go to bed every night in fear. Just this week alone, five people were killed in an Israeli strike. Among the dead, a much-loved school teacher and his grandson. Now, Israel says it is targeting Hezbollah strongholds in the area, but the people of Khodor say they have nothing to do with this fight. And here in Beirut, we know that over 20 people have been killed in two Israeli strikes and over 100 wounded, making this the deadliest night since Israel began striking the heart of the capital last month. Jerika? Dabrapata in Beirut. Thank you.